So here we are in Florence at, I don't even know what the hell this place is called, but it's huge. And we're thinking about going to the top of Vidoma, but it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. So if they don't have an elevator, I say no. This is the quietest city I've ever been to in my life. It's but actually, when we weren't in this plaza where all the tourists are, you get a block away. And literally, in this huge city, no sound. You can't hear a thing. I mean, it's insanity. So when we found out there were 700 steps to the top, we uh, we passed. I think my, my daughter would have died halfway up. She recommended the smoothie instead. <laughs> The funny thing is though, when you go one block this way, one block that way, no people. And I'm gonna show you, I mean, not a sound, not anything. So Florence is the hometown of Leonardo da Vinci. I'm looking for all the secrets everywhere. I think Dan Brown may be full of shit. And now suddenly the streets are completely packed. Just slamming. It wasn't like this an hour ago. Hold on, we've lost your stepmother. There she is. Keep an eye on her. Oh. I mean, the crazy thing is when you're in the center of Florence, things just pop out. They pop out of nowhere. They just, boom, here they are. Just walking around. These buildings are so tall and in these small like the spaces and you emerge into just this I mean it's really the craziest thing and then here's people everywhere they're and restoring pop, ooh, look, gone. they're restoring the statue from da Vinci's majestic David to the hundreds of street artists Florence really has something for everyone to see the color and vibrance of this city is absolutely amazing and around every corner, there's someone using their artistic abilities to enhance this wonderful city. Even the fruit here has colors of the rainbow. And I cannot wait to taste and see what Florence has to offer. That is, if I can get these three girls motivated. Did daddykins get you where you needed to be? Daddy. That was crazy. Don't move. There's the famous bridge right there. I'm the shot. <laughs> You're gross. Look, they do have them. <gasps> what did you just do? Did you just get shit on? <laughs> I captured it. That's actually good luck. When a bird shits on you. Here, get something out of the bag. The tears. Get it off of me! Get, bend your arm! Here, honey, no, I need a fucking can you get my bag? Get shit. it off! Can you you get don't something? have a washcloth. When you get pooped on by a bird, it's good luck. One time a bird Traveling on my with face. women. One time a bird shit directly into my mouth and I ate it. And then it gave me the youth of the tiger. And that's when I. When I talk nonsense, Martinka just blocks it all out. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm not gonna listen to that. I actually caught it on camera when she, the moment she got shit upon them. Oh, it's going into the highlights. You know, I've seen it in postcards, I'm gonna be honest. Seeing it in person, I'm just not that impressed. I mean, it would be cool to live there. Like, if you, if this is your house, like yeah. the guy that owns this little flat here, cool. You know, you can say, hey, I live on a bridge, not under it, but upon it. But other than that, I mean, what is it? Jake, can you drive a car across that thing? I don't think so. I think you can, because where? how would the people get there? This is fucking disgusting. 
Okay, flying high above the city. Yes, you can take cars across this bridge. Well, when there's not people. Every street here has something new to see. Every window, every patina, even the streets themselves speak to you. And I can guarantee if you come to Florence, it's a city you will never, ever forget. As for me and the girls, it's on to Pisa. Let's see what we have next. I got pooped on. <laughs> <laughs> I got perped on. So yeah, I got perped on and now we're going wine tasting. Right, Dad? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, do you have any local, local wine? Wine that's from made near here? Uh, Chianti? Okay. Or no, no, glass. Two glass, yeah. glass rosé for the kids. I'll do it for a hat. I'll get a hat. I spent time. I've been such a nice dad on this trip. Better than ever before. You've been in a very good mood today, Dad. You know what? It kind of makes me sad. Because we had a good night last night. We actually have had a, a good couple of days. Wow. We really have done like a week's vacation worth of things. Two days. Two and a half days. Sorry about Chardonnay is finished. If you want, we have one Vermentino Toscano. It's a light wine? Yes. It's for, you know, it's for them. Yeah. yeah. For all of you that thought traveling with women was I got it. a luxury, it's not. They're fucking yeah. disgusting. What? What are you saying? I just wanted my impact limits. But why, Daddy? And it's I pretty said, cool. These walls are about, I'd say about 70 feet tall. Yeah. Did you say seven? 70, 70 feet I tall. Yeah, and I, and I said, what do you need? And she goes, right, say, I know you're short, but I'm surrounded. I didn't know how to tell Pizza. that much. <laughs> I mean, could you imagine when they built this thing and it just <laughs> started to tip? I mean, no. God damn, like, I bet you the guy that did it was probably in some deep trouble. <laughs> no, I mean, look at this. I, I kind of want to go up in there. You can, yeah. but at the same time, I kind of don't want to go up there because, I mean, that yeah. son of a bitch looks like it's going to go okay. down. Drop a duke. <laughs> so big in my pants, it would just. Okay, rule number 26 of traveling with women. They don't respect anyone. So we're in the. Here's a walkway. There's hundreds of people coming. And here they are. They've decided to take their picture here instead of here, which is where all the hundreds of fools take. Look at this guy here. He's very excited. Oh, that's a woman. Whoever she may be. Okay, so everyone has to do their stupid Tower of Pisa photo. Dad, you have to stand on it. No, you have to stand on it. Okay. Stand, no, you have to stand on it to do it. No, you have to stand on it. You have to stand on it? Yes, just stand on it. No, not the rod, the, the, the ball, yeah. This one's flat. This one's flat. I have to take the shoes off. No, don't because everybody's gonna die. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> up, up. Now what? Wait, put your hands like this underneath. What? You're gonna go down. Put your hands. <laughs> Lead like this. Go like dad. Go like this. No, dad, stop. Go like this. No, with the other one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but this one's this one's good. That one looks like I'm saluting Satan. <laughs> 
doesn't. Let me see. No. Alright. Alright, I'm getting down. <laughs> okay, good. I have to get my postcard. <laughs> What an amazing day I've had. First to see Florence in all its splendor, and then to come to the Leaning Tower of Pisa with my girls. It's actually a place I thought maybe I'd never see. But to have them with me, wow, what a difference. And now they have me at a souvenir tent. God only knows what I'll buy. But honestly for them, I'd buy them anything. And in this moment, something I hope they remember forever, I feel loved, and it's a good feeling. <laughs>